Hello, hello, welcome everyone to this presentation. Okay. Um, the main reason uh, for this presentation is um, to uh, express our gratitude to those people that have managed to register for the Fast Track program, which is starting uh, uh, on the 10th, which is a few days from now. Okay, we are really grateful that um, you've decided to join us and uh, we can assure you that uh, you will not uh, regret and that uh, you shall get the best as uh, the best is uh, the one that is good enough from us, that is. So, and also to mention that uh, we are set, like uh, we are set, okay? Everything is in place, we are ready and we are so excited to, to start. Okay, so, in case you are not yet um, uh, you are not yet uh, familiar with what we are offering, so on the tenth we start what we are calling a fast track program for those that are writing their GC exams, specifically mathematics. So it will run from the tenth uh, of June to the eighth of August. Right? We'll be meeting uh, on these days. That is Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. All right. Take note, Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday, four times in a week, which is uh, sufficient for us to provide the, uh, what is required. And this is the time from 20 hours to 21 hours so that we can accord an opportunity to those that are, are, are working. All right? So it's starting from the 10th to the 8th. All right? You can contact us on this number. 0978-56-5876. So you can contribute a 500 quarter per month towards this program so that we are able to, to, to run, conduct this program successfully without any challenges. So meaning that since it's run for, for two months, you can cut away with a thousand quarter. But we are not saying you can pay the whole, uh, you pay the whole 1,000 at once. You can split it, pay 500, then 500. All right? So like I've said, Everything is in place. We are excited. We are happy with the response from most of the people across the country. All right, it's across the country. Yeah, thank you for showing confidence in us. And like I said earlier, no regrets about it. We shall do that, which is okay, that we are, which is required for you to be able to pass these exams without any problems whatsoever, provided you stick to what we are, we are, we are going to give you. All right, so please can join, there's still some room, there's still some slots, can still join. Contact us today so that we register uh, you, so that uh, come 10th, we should be able to, to start. All right, so the second part is uh, to look at um, some questions. All right, from... Um, uh, some of these are uh, exams, All right? Okay, great, 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 great. Okay, we are almost there. We are almost there. All right, so there is a question here. On index notation, evaluate, 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 uh, eight, the power two over three, and it's given two marks, as simple as all that, all right? The second question, is on functions. You can pick a question on functions. Uh, given that, that, given that, f of x is a five x plus four over five. And 
g of x is equal to x minus 1. The question is, uh, find g of x in its simplest form. In its uh, simplest form. Simplest form. All right, great. Let's see how we can solve this. So the first one is uh, we need to evaluate. So to evaluate means we need to get, um, so let's say answers. Okay, good. Uh, number one. So we have eight to the power two divided by three. So as you can see, the way we are presenting now, that is how We'll be presenting it to you as you are joining us for these uh, live lessons. We, we are able to be able to see what you are doing just there and then. We don't present via WhatsApp. What? No, no, no. It's a live lesson it's as if you're in class. Okay, you're able to see what we are writing. Where it's not clear, you're able to. No, no. Go back there. We we can erase and start afresh. You've been writing notes. Doesn't matter the number of pages. We're able to do that. All right. So we are saying to evaluate. Here, we need to find the exact value of this problem. Now, you realize that you have got a base, which is 8, and the power, which has got a fraction. Now, if you have a fraction, for example, 2 over 3 as your power, this will tell you about the root. Then this will tell you uh, about what we call, OK, in other words, it is a continuing power. Right, meaning that you must find the, the root first, then maintain the power. So, because there is two, uh, take a note, uh, it's, the, it's the other way around. Take note. Uh, so, this is the we'll tell you about the root. Sorry, then this is the continuing power. All right, so because I have a three, so three now will tell me to find the root of eight. And what kind of a root? It is a cube root because it is three. If it is two, it is square root. If it is four, it is fourth root. So it is saying find the cube root of eight. Then I continue with what power? Two. You can even put the brackets here and continue with power two. It should be used at the end. All right, now, I want to find the cube root of, cube root of eight. You can pause and try to find the cube root of eight. Now, what is a cube root of eight? We want a number, you can multiply itself three times to give you eight. So you know that this can be written as cube root of two times two, times two, all right? Now, what number? Okay, you know that two by two is a four. Four by two is eight, isn't it? So I multiply this two three times to give me eight. So the cube root of eight is this number two, because two times two times two is eight, all right? So the cube root of two is eight. I hope that is okay. I mean, sorry, the, the cube root of eight. The cube root of eight is a, a two. If you are talking about the cube root of, I can give you another number, 125. So the cube root of 125 is five. Because five times five times five will give you 125. So the cube root of 125 is a five. In this regard, the cube root of eight is a two and not the converse. So I've got two, but I'm continuing with power two. All right. You're continuing with power, power two. Great. Now, what's the meaning of two squared? Two squared means two by two. And this will give us what? Will give us four. So that is the answer there. Remember, this is the paper one. You don't need a calculator. Great, 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 great. I hope that is fine. 
Let's look at the second question. Let's look at the second question. What is the second question? Okay, so this is our, our question two. We have f of x. f of x is uh, defined as 5x plus 4 divided by 5 and g of x is equal to x minus 1. Now, what do we want to find? F g of x. So what we are doing here, we are fusing the functions. So what that means is that in order for us to fuse, you are going to get g, you put it in f. So I'm getting my g, which is this one. Where am I taking it? To f, but it will only sit where there's x here. Great. That's how it's supposed to be done. Everything remains. Okay. Implying therefore that uh, this is equal to uh, 5, open bracket, where there's x, we put x minus 1 plus 4 divided by 5. What does this mean? This is equal to, we distribute uh, 5 by x is 5x, 5 by negative 1, negative 5 plus, plus 4. Everything is divided by 5. All right, great. So this is 5x. So negative 5 plus 4, negative 5 plus 4. Here, I'm dealing with the plus and minus. So when I'm dealing with the uh, subtraction and addition only, I have to look at the signs. If the signs are different, I keep the sign of the bigger number. So in this case, it is a, a negative. Then I subtract the small number from the bigger number. It gives us 1. So I've got negative 1 divided by 5. And this is your answer. You are good to go. You are good to go. So you can see the way we are presenting. This is how we present. You are able to see what we are doing with it. We write, give you a chance to copy. You can ask questions. You are able to redo. We believe this is the best way to go. Which is the best way to go. And this is the game changer. The only difference is that you are not in class, but anything else is the same. We are able to pose questions and we are able to respond. So, like we've said, the 10th, you cannot afford to make it. 10th is the date. Mark this date 10th, June 2023. You may just save yourself. If mathematics is what is your uh, uh, hindering you from um, pursuing your dream career, let's crush it together. We'll crush it once and for all. We defeat ECZ together. You cannot be challenged left, right, center, A in, out. No, 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 no. ECZ must fall. All right, this year, ECZ must fall once and for all. This has been Piri Kamban. Signing out. Shalom, shalom.